The Subconscious Mind by Dr. Emmett Fox. Subconscious mind has a perfect memory. Everything that has ever occurred to you, everything you have ever seen or heard or read, even the things which you did not take conscious notice of at the time, such as the people you passed in the street, things your eyes have seen in shop windows and so on, are all correctly recorded in your subconscious mind. And nothing but spiritual treatment can wipe one of these records out. Hypnotism or suggestion will sometimes push these records out of sight, as it were, by kind of counter pressure. But this does not eliminate them. Only spiritual treatment will do that. This perfect record is what is really meant by the judgment books of Scripture. Authentic cases are on record of people who have been almost drowned, who tell us that in a flash, as it seemed, the entire record unrolled before them and their whole past lives were seen. The subconscious has perfect and unlimited power of deductive reasoning. This means that given any premise, it will work out the natural sequence with infallible logic, a thing that the conscious mind very seldom does. Finally, the subconscious is always tending to express or reproduce on the physical plane every idea that has been presented to it. That is to say, every idea which enters the subconscious, is, in a manner of speaking, accepted by it as an order to be carried out. And at the first possible opportunity, it will present you with the idea in the concrete form of an accomplished fact. We can easily see now how important it is to be careful what ideas we allow to enter our subconscious. The subconscious does not use any discretion, but taking everything it gets to be in order, seeks to bring it into our lives at the earliest possible moment. This is why one should avoid, as far as possible, reading detailed accounts of diseases, crimes, and all sorts of unpleasant happenings. This is also the reason why to hold evil thoughts about other people is so damaging for ourselves. The evil thought, as such, is accepted at its face value. Going into the subconscious, it is taken for an order, and the tendency there is for it to be worked out in one's life as soon as possible. Many people at the present day who understand this process are not so clear upon the other point namely the power of unlimited deductive reasoning possessed by the subconscious. Our conscious minds have so little power of deduction that it is usually limited to drawing the most obvious conclusions into a little simple mental arithmetic. The subconscious, however, immediately works out to finality the ultimate logical conclusion of any idea presented to it. And the ultimate logical conclusion of many ideas, harmless looking enough in themselves, is often something extremely unpleasant. Nevertheless, it will make its appearance in concrete form on the physical plane when the circumstances are favourable. People often say, for instance, that some difficulty, perhaps a physical malady, has come into their lives, though they had never thought of it. The explanation is that while they did not indeed think of this particular thing, they did think of things, or they did hold beliefs, which in their logical outcome could only culminate in the materialization of that particular trouble. It is now much easier to see 
why we have to be constantly on our guard to think only thoughts of harmony, peace and goodwill. For the logical outcome of such thinking is health, happiness and prosperity, while the logical outcome of criticism, spite, self-pity, etc., is sickness, poverty and limitation. 